from here, when that right hand comes in, remember, we're talking about this, a lot of forward pressure here, right? So I was really trying to hit you with a right hand. Boom, you do it half the work. And then I step from this position. I've got them crossed up. Now, we have high amplitude version, and then we have, like, uh, I like to call the fat man version. Or the low energy version, whatever we want to call it. The more efficient version, right? <laughs> Play around with both. It's all going to depend on who you're fighting, the weight differential, your expertise in it. So the first version, which is just more melt to the ground, when I parry the punch, I move my head off the center. When I step here, I keep my head here. I'm going to drop to my right knee and penetrate through. Immediately, you see where this right arm is? I keep it here, and I get up off my toes. Right now, I'm putting this hand down so I don't take my shoulder right through the spine to the earth. But if I move this, now he's carrying on my weight. Here. I walk to side control position, and I'll bring my knee to his butt. And now I start laddering up his body. Elbow, forearm. Elbow, forearm. Elbow, forearm. So I get to side control. Past the guard. The wonderful thing about this takedown is I'm, I'm not taking him down into his guard. I don't want to have to fight into his guard unless I have to. I want to pass all in one motion. Okay. So notice with this one, we'll start with this and we'll go to high amplitude later. Um, one, I parry. Now this all is dependent on what's underneath me too, right? That's concrete. Probably don't want to drop to my knee. This grass, I might consider it. Right? So I'm here, and now I just melt. Okay? Immediately off the toes. I want to be in a tripod. If I'm here, I don't have any weight. He can move his hips away from me. And now I've got to deal with all this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with all this. I don't want to fight as much as I, I don't like fighting a lot. I want to fight a little bit. So I got one fight, I do two moves in it. I get up off my toes, I tripod. I snake his legs. Here. And now I walk till I clear his legs. I'm gonna take my knee, put it right behind his hip. Elbow to hip, now control his hip. Now, I ladder up his body. I'm not gonna make any big drastic moves. I make big drastic moves, I make space. I make space. Shit, I gotta do all this again. I don't wanna do it again. I'm tight here. So I ladder, one. Sorry. And move up to side control position. In various different forms of side control, or whatever way you know how to fight from here. Basic, fundamental, under the head, both knees spread, and my weight distributed across his body. Okay. And this one works really well with the weight differential. Right? I go into Ryan, he moves his head off the center line, and he takes to see where his knee is. I can't sprawl. Got nowhere to go. Immediately was up on his toes. Yeah, I'm <laughs> We got it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'll do it. One, two. 